Before I go over uh, this photograph of a slice through the brain, I need to tell you where that slice was made. So if this is, and by the way, before looking at this video, you should be looking at the um, brain video and then the brain stem video, okay? Anyway, um, so if this is a, a lateral view of the brain, remember there are two halves to the brain and here's an inferior view. This slice is made <clears throat> um, in this, well, let me use a pencil, like this. So you should not be seeing any of the cerebellum, right, in this slice? The cerebellum is down here below this slice. Now I'm going to take the brain apart and show you where it is, where the slice is. And it is about here. So if you were looking at this brain, you would expect to see in the front of the slice, the cerebrum, right? And then you're gonna see a part of the corpus callosum, which is white matter. So I, this keeps moving, sorry about that. So cerebrum, and then corpus callosum, then thalamus, then more corpus callosum back here. See the corpus callosum is C-shaped, so you will see the slice through this part of the corpus callosum, and then also this part of the corpus callosum, and in between the two corpus callosums, you're gonna see the thalamus, okay? And then more cerebrum. Also remember where the thalamus is, in between the two thalami, so the other thalamus is up here out of the page right here, in between the two is gonna be the third ventricle, so you're gonna see that as well. <clears throat> now let's go over this doesn't matter which way you put it, but I put anterior <coughs> up high. Oh, there's like a reflection of the light, so let me fix that. Mm. <laughs> okay, I am no photographer. All right, so <coughs> I think this might work like that. So these actually are um, part of the nasal cavity. This is anterior. Um, so up here is part of the nasal cavity and sinuses. And then um, here and here, that's just the beginning of the eye sockets where the eyes are. So these are pads of fat that are uh, inferior to the eyes. And that, or wait, superior, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm not going to ask you about that. So um, we're going to start anteriorly and then move posteriorly. Anteriorly then in the beginning, you're going to expect to see the cerebrum, which you do. And then the thalamus. Now these other basal nuclei over here are there, but we don't see them in the... Um, I didn't talk about them yet because when I looked at this part of the brain, those structures are interior because the sl mid sagittal slice through the brain that I just showed you is here. Um, so you're only going to see things that touch the medial plane, right? Anyway, so cerebrum, thalamus, and then the corpus callosum is here and here. Remember, it comes up out of the page and then goes down, right? C-shaped. So you expect to see two corpus callosums one anterior and one posterior, and in between the two is the thalamus. Also, remember that the cavity between the two thalami here is uh, the third ventricle. And then posterior to the corpus callosum, you're gonna see more cerebrum. Let's also talk about, with this photograph, about uh, gray matter versus white matter. So. Gray matter forms the cerebral cortex, which is the very outer thin layer of the cerebrum. Sorry, the light, okay. So the cerebral cortex is just this outer gray layer. And then deep to that is white matter, which is pretty obvious, 
white and gray. And then the deeper um, forms of gray matter are going to be <clears throat> nuclei. And then over here, it's kind of hard to see, but there is um, the lateral sulcus. And then remember, right inside the lateral sulcus, when you go in, you're gonna hit the insula right here. And the insula covers the basal nuclei. And then of course, the longitudinal fissure. And I think that's it for this.